Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Rudram 2 is going to be a hypersonic aeroballistic air to ground missile under development by DRDO. The missile will have a solid rocket motor for propulsion at a range of 50 to 300 kilometers. The missile will have a peak speed of 5.5 mag that is hypersonic. Now as per latest update DRDO is in process of procuring 10 Imaging Infrared Seeker for Rudram 2 missiles which will be delivered within 18 months of signing of the contract. This seeker seems to be procured considering the upcoming trials of the missile. The Su-30 MKI and Miraz 2000 are going to pay its primary launch platform. However, at later stage, this can be integrated with LCA Mark II. The missile can be launched at an altitude of 3 to 15 km with a launch speed between 0.5 to 1.5 Mach. Now the most interesting part of this missile is its trajectory and it does not follow the complete parabolic path as that of a typical ballistic missile. As we can see the poster shared for Rudram 2 by Somedeep Sarkar, the missile's initial launch is around 15 km and the missile goes up first reaches apogee of 40 km. After reaching the maximum altitude, the missile begins to descend. By the time the missile has reached the peak height of 40 km, it would have also covered a horizontal distance of 100 km. The missile continues to descend till it achieves an altitude of 20 km. By this time, the missile would have also covered the horizontal distance of 200 km. The missile then changes its trajectories and moves slightly upward and then descends again. This is done to give missile the capability to attack at an angle of 80 degree, which is almost vertical or top attack. The overall flight duration of missile is 400 seconds and the range is of 300 kilometers. The trajectory followed by Rudram 2 makes its detection very, very difficult. Now, as we have reported earlier, the missile will have two variants for different roles and of course different seeker for different roles. The two roles are ARM that is anti-radiation missile and ground attack roles. When used as ARM missile, it will feature dual seeker with passive homing head and IIR seeker which makes it jam proof and enhances the accuracy of attack. While the passive homing head enables the missile to track the source radiating radio waves such as surface to air missile system, fire control radar or surveillance radar, the IIR seeker would assist to differentiate between a decoy and actual target. In ARM role, the warhead used is pre-fragmented one with weight close to 155 kg. Its angle of attack will be between 40 to 50 degrees. In ground attack mode, the missile will feature only IIR seeker. It will have penetration come blast warhead of 200 kg and its angle of attack will be more that is 80 degrees. The missile can be used to target bunkers, airstrip and air hangars. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.